Let's have a look at the seven key CAA rules that you should understand if you're flying your DJI Neo in the UK. Because it's under 250 grams, but it has a camera, you, you need to get an operator ID. You need to go online to the CAA website and register the drone and get an operator ID. You'll get a number like this number here, my number, and then you need to stick that on the side of the drone display that. It can actually be in the battery compartment if you want to put it in the, underneath here in the battery compartment or you can put it on the side of the drone. So that's the first thing, you need an operator ID. And when you have an operator ID you have to be over the age of 18. So if you've got two children under the age of 18 you as the op person who's got the operator ID needs to be with them if they're flying this drone they can't be on their own which is a, a restriction really. They can get something called a flyer ID. It's not mandatory for a drone under 250 grams. I would suggest that they go and do it if you've got children, but they can't fly this drone on their own. On the plus side, the CAA regulations allow you to have follow me mode on the drone here. And if I put this in follow me mode, which I'm going to do now. So the CAA, what they allow you to do is that follows me behind. The CAA allow you allow you to not have visual line of sight. Either drone can be behind you like that. Don't have visual line of sight up to 50 meters if the drone is in follow me mode. That's one of the regulations. Now, if I walk forward now, the drone should and I land. And I'll just land the drone. Number three on the key CAA rules is never, ever fly over a crowd of people under any circumstances. Never fly over a crowd. Number four is never fly in an FRZ, a flight restricted zone. And this is not just limited to airports. It includes prisons, military establishments, royal palaces, stadiums. You can download a app to your phone, either Android or iOS that from Altitude Angel called Drone Assist that sits on your phone and tells you where you can and can't fly. DJI also have a geofence within their system and when you power the drone on you'll see this but they do not police it anymore they just give you a warning it's only up to yourself to make the decision you will see it coming up in a minute suitable for environmental for flight then you've got a compliance with the regulation. So it's up to you to make your own decision about complying with the regulations. Number five is maximum height, which is 120 meters above the Earth's surface. But this is not practical with the DJI Neo because of its weight. At 135 grams, this is light and it bounces around. Yeah, we're now medium winds, moderate winds as it's called in the UK, 12 mile an hour to 18 mile an hour. You can see the trees blowing here and this struggles. If I push this up in the air anywhere above those trees or uh, any height where the, where the wind's coming over the fence, it would be blowing around like crazy. The next is maximum distance of 500 meters from you and the drone. This is not correct with relation to the DJI Neo because you have to be able to orientate the drone and, and be able to see with your eyes, not with the screen, which way the drone is facing, which is the front of the drone. And you can't do that anywhere near 500 meters. Realistic visual line of sight is around 60 meters with the DJI Neo, a maximum of 60 meters. And number seven, well, where can you fly? Well, it's good news. Provided you're not in an FRZ or a over a crowd, you can fly over uninvolved people with no restrictions. Drones under 250 grams and the DJI Neo is 135 grams fly under the A1 category and you can take off off any public land and fly over residential, 
recreational areas, beaches, parks, theme parks, as you can see here, any commercial area, any industrial area, as long as there are no crowds or it's not an FRZ, you can fly over uninvolved people without any restrictions. You can take off from public land, you can fly over public land. You can take off from private land with the landowner's permission, and you can take off from public land and fly over private land without the private land permission. They don't own the airspace over the private land. However, there are obvious privacy rules and other things like that to come into consideration. And remember, there is a DJI log file with your flight details, where you took off, where you land, how far the drone is away from you, which is all on the log file within the DJI app. So if you've broken the regulations or rules, it's easy to see where you've flown and the distances that you have flown. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.